Hey, what's up guys? Welcome back to Tech Beans. Today, we're gonna be taking a look at the Redmi Note 7, the one I reviewed before, and compare it to its big brother, the Redmi Note 7 Pro. This, my friends, is the Indian variant. I guess I'm the only one in the Philippines who has this Indian variant right here. India's number one, Redmi Note 7 Pro. It's the black one. Thank you so much to Pankaj the Geeky Monk for sending this to me. You are awesome, bro. Guys, also subscribe. <clears throat> Guys, also subscribe to the Geeky Monk. He has great content. It's just like Tech Beans, but only in Hindi. Thank you so much, bro. You already know who's much faster here. It's the Redmi Note 7 Pro. But the thing is, I want to know if the Redmi Note 7 Pro is worth the extra bucks. So yes, we're gonna be testing out these two phones, launching these apps right here, finding out which one has a bigger end duty score, and yes, which one is better at playing PUBG. But before all that, guys, don't forget about my giveaway. I have here the Realme Free and the Redmi Note 7. Two of my lucky subscribers are gonna win these. So yeah, check out the descriptions below for more information about the giveaway. All right, and without further ado, let the battle begin. No. All right, here we go. First off, let me just check if there are apps running in the background. All closed. Check if they're both using Wi-Fi. Yep. And also check if they're using the latest software. Triple check. Okay, here we go. First off is the Google Play Store. And whoa, Redmi Note 7, a little bit quicker there. What is happening right here? Google Chrome. Okay, Redmi Note 7 Pro, was expecting that. 1-1, one, one. and now for Instagram. Redmi Note 7 Pro again, okay, cool. And now for Facebook. Okay, Redmi Note 7 Pro again. YouTube. Okay, and now for Google Maps. And okay, still much faster, but just a pinch. And I'm not really sure if it's actually worth buying the Redmi Note 7 Pro over the Redmi Note 7. The margin of difference is just very small. But yeah, let's try games now. Games are very important. They determine whether which one is actually faster because it requires a lot of processing power to actually load them. And whoa, what is happening right here? Oh my God. Okay, this is not fake, right? This is the real thing. Okay. Whoa. Asphalt 8. Whoa, what the? I just pressed the app at the same time and this loaded up much quicker. Come on, do your thing. What the? That was a one second difference. Hey, what is happening here? So yeah, I'm not really seeing the extra value that this provides right here. But yeah, we have two more apps left. All right, now for Hungry Shark. Cool. Finally, but still not that so much quicker. And finally, Mario Run. All right, I'm still feeling that this is gonna finish up quickly, even faster than the, oh my God, what? This, is, this was taking quite some time to finish. What is happening right here? Okay, so here's the deal. Launching apps in general, uh, it's not such a big margin. Most of the time, the Redmi Note 7 was actually much faster. Not sure why. But yeah, the Redmi Note 7 here has a China ROM, which has the version of MIUI 10.2.13. While the global ROM is actually behind by a few versions, with MIUI 10.2.7. So this is version 13, and this is version 7. So yeah, the great thing about the China ROM is that it always gets the updates first, while the global ROM is gonna be left behind. Okay. One last time. Let's try again with all the apps open and... Okay, Redmi Note 7. Again, the Redmi Note 7. Whew. What the... This is really... not looking good for the Redmi Note 7 Pro. So yeah, it's all about the optimization and it looks like the Snapdragon 660 processor is just a lot snappier on the Redmi Note 7. I'm not really seeing the big difference. Even on games, as you can see when I press the button, the app, the Redmi Note 7 is still much quicker. And there you go, launching apps much faster on the Redmi Note 7 China ROM compared to the Redmi Note 7 Pro's global ROM. Darn. 
Damn, that's a big hit on my wallet. Okay. Of course, launching apps is just one part of the story. You have other things to test, like N22. So yeah, here we go for the N22 benchmark. And yeah, so far I'm not really seeing the big difference right here. Not at all. Now based from the reviews on other websites, I saw that the Snapdragon 675 processor was actually much faster than the Snapdragon 710 processor based on some benchmarking, of course, but right here I'm not really seeing that difference at all. They look pretty much identical, if you ask me. It's really hard to discern which one is actually much faster. Ooh, time to render. Here we go. All right. Okay, this is rendering up much faster. Look at that. It's finishing up really quickly. Boom. There you go. And whoa, 131,000 here on the Redmi Note 7 and almost 180,000 on the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Now this kind of score was actually what I was getting on previous flagship Qualcomm processors like the Snapdragon 835. And now the Snapdragon 675 mid-range processor is actually able to do this. Crazy. But yeah, that's just the benchmarking stuff, not real world stuff. This is the real world comparison right here, PUBG. So the thing is, in PUBG, you only get HD graphics and high frame rates by default. Later, we will unlock extreme frame rates and HDR graphics with the GFX tool. But right now, let's take a look at the HD graphics and high frame rates. Let's drop off right here. Oh, they're both dropping off at the same time. Both phones, same game, cool. So yeah, here's the Redmi Note 7, pretty smooth. Here's the Redmi Note 7 Pro. Okay, I'm not really sure which one is smoother right here. It's actually hard to tell. I think both phones are maxing out on the frame rates right here for the high frame rates and they can't go any further. That's why I'm not able to see a marginal difference. They pretty much look the same to me. Okay, let's start running. And uh, yep, not really that big of a difference. Here you go for the Redmi Note 7. So, so far, they pretty much look identical in my eye here. No big difference at all, really. Okay, so let's bump it up to HDR graphics, extreme frame rates for both phones. Okay, so I just used GFX tool right here to enable the HDR graphics and extreme frame rates for both phones. And this time around, as you can see, both are actually smooth. Much smoother than the HD graphics and high frame rates earlier. Let us see if there's actually a big difference. So this is the Redmi Note 7 and here's the Redmi Note 7 Pro. See that? This is the skydiving part. There's actually a little bit of lag right here on the Redmi Note 7. And right here, no, I don't see that. And there's too much going on in the screen, as you can see. There's a little bit of lag, but right here, none. Okay, so yeah, I was able to successfully validate which one is actually much faster with the skydiving test right here. Pretty nice. Oh, by the way, this is a 60 frames per second video. You're not gonna be able to appreciate the difference, the comparison, if you're only gonna watch in 30 frames per second. So yeah, be sure to switch to 60 frames per second anytime you want. So here's the thing. Without the GFX tool, I was not able to see a big difference between the two. If you're gonna play this game without the GFX tool, you're gonna miss out a lot. But yeah, there's not a marginal difference between the two in terms of the default. If you're just gonna buy the phone because of PUBG, I don't think the Redmi Note 7 Pro is worth it. I think you should just go for the Redmi Note 7, unless you're gonna go for the cameras, of course. The cameras on the Redmi Note 7 Pro is just much better. But right now, in terms of performance, in terms of gaming, I don't think there's a big difference in any of the two. But yeah, if you do use GFX tool, you're gonna be able to see a lot clearer on which one is much smoother, which has the better graphics, and it is the Redmi Note 7 Pro, as you can see right here. You can still see some lag on the Redmi Note 7, while on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, boom, nothing like that. Okay, so the thing is, the Redmi Note 7 just began to struggle when there's just too much going on on the screen. Well, on the Redmi Note 7 Pro, you really don't see that. It's still very smooth. But yeah, like I told you, hopefully this comparison was a big help to you guys. And speaking of the cameras, let me know guys if you want a camera comparison between the two. And of course, I'm gonna be doing a battery comparison between the Redmi Note 7 Pro versus the Vivo V15 Pro and the Oppo F11 Pro. Well, actually, I'm gonna throw in the Redmi Note 7 as well as a bonus plus the Realme Free. So it's gonna be an epic battery comparison, guys. So be sure to subscribe and hit that bell icon so that you don't miss it. This is Vince the Maker from Tech Beans, and I'll see you on the next video.